are you guys doing? I'm doing a really quick um, 99 cent store haul, a super quick one. Um, remember I was telling you guys, I'm sorry that I came late too because I wanted to technical pay a couple bills. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I got and go from there. So hopefully you guys like it. So remember that I already hauled these already. I hauled two of these already. I hauled a blue one and a green one. And then I got a pink one for my daughter. Um, it's actually pretty big. It's not humongous. Hi, Jenny. How you doing? Yes, I'm back again. So I got this one for my daughter. Um, like I said, it was a green one. Hi, Pamela. How you doing? There was a green one, a blue one, and a, a pink one. So these are super cute. They're not as small as I thought. They're a little bit more bigger. Um, but there's like so much space in there for a toddler to move around and play and have toys in there and things like that. So it's really nice. Hi, Brenda. How you doing? So yes, I hope you guys get one of these, at least one to try it out. So um, these are the pop-up play tents. So it's really good. So I got that one and I got another green one because my other child wanted one. So now I have four because all four little ones wanted one. So there's that. Um, also, I had hauled this already before and um, I already ate some. So that's why I have it in the thing because it, it does feel kind of good, but not really. So Chips Ahoy Originals. And these are the, sorry, they're already coming out of the package. Three ounce. So three ounce. It's a pretty good size. So um, yeah. So that was my little snack. Um, and then also, there were these. And these are the Breakfast Flat Crispy Snack Bars Cranberry Almonds with other natural flavors. Nine bars for a dollar. So you get nine of these and each bar is 1.41 1 ounce. And let's see where's the expiration date on here. Expiration date is June 2nd of 2018. So it has a good shelf date. Um... I didn't go to catch your live, but I'll, wa I'll watch it later for the budgeting. Awesome. That's good. I love those um, breakfasts. Yes, these are good. And these were nine for a dollar, you guys. This whole box is for a dollar. So it comes like this quite a bit. And so that's what it looks like. Just And it comes with, I think, two. It feels like one, two, three. Three, um cookies i guess you could say three strips for a buck for well it's gonna be less than a dollar but you know what i mean so oh there it is it does say three bar so three bars for and you get nine so i don't think you can see that so i got one two and three i got one more I think I did one. Four and five. And I did get six, but I gave one to a friend. And then there was these banana honey nuts. And they gave me all of these for a quarter. So four for a quarter. So and these are the also contains three bars, breakfast flats, crispy snack bars. So hi, um, hi Sandra, how you doing? I'm okay. Glad it's Friday. Me too. It's relaxed time for me too. Um, so here is this. So super excited to have one of those for work and for the kids to have one for school. We want to take like an extra snack to school. Okay, I'm gonna go through the food really quick. And then here's this humongous from Kroger. It's from Kroger, and this is a cinnamon applesauce, a fat-free food. And it's a 48-ounce, which is 3 pounds. And it's about 11 servings. And my kids love applesauce, especially if it contains cinnamon. So it's cinnamon applesauce. So humongous for a dollar. This was a dollar. And it's going to, let me see, the expiration date on here is 9-25-18. Has a great shelf date. So this will last us, well, hopefully it will last us a long time. But I'm pretty sure we could get through this at least two, maybe two weeks. I'm sure it's going to last only a week. So I got one, two, 
and three. And then I also got these Kellogg Rice Krispie Treats, the original eight bars in them for our dollar. And these expire May 22nd, 2018. So I got those. Put all this in here. I know it's really weird. Having you here in the kitchen. Okay, so. Now let's get to the goodie part. You guys are going to be super excited. I hope this stuff works. Um, I don't know if, if it's good quality. To me, I might say, I'm going to say yes. Oh, and I got some bowls because on a lazy day when you don't want to do dishes, you can just give the kids these ones. So these are the um, cordites, cordites, strong silk proof foam plastic, and it's 25 bowls, 12 ounces each. So I just got one just to have it, just to have it. Um, hi, Native, how you doing? Um, let me see. I also got this um, Dazzler's Bling Earplugs, Block Noise, Super Soft Foam, too easy to use. So I was thinking it's ideal for sleeping, traveling, or loud events. Um, noise um, reduction, 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 rating 32 something. So um, I got this for when I'm in the bathtub, when I wanna have a nice bath and just enjoy myself, just to relax with no noise. You know that my kids come in and out of the bathroom. So I decided to pick this up and hopefully this would work. And it's kind of cute. It's like a little dazzling. So I picked that up just to help me to relax in the bathtub. Also, I got this La Bella um, Vitamin E 10,000 IU. I know I shouldn't pick this up, but I did. Um, but this was, um, like I said, these are like four different hauls throughout the whole month and a little bit from even last month. So this is just something that I had, I've been having in my car, I know. And it's a vitamin E oil with um, aloe vera, aloe vera, and it's a 2.5 fluid ounce. So here it is. So I heard this is really good. And there was some eye cream too, like, or for wrinkles for older people. And um, I wanted to get one, but I was like, nah, I have tons of stuff still. So I know I should have picked this up and I should have picked that one up. But everybody's been asking for the cream. The bell, It's like La Bella, but it's the cream for like wrinkles and I believe for your face. So I wish I picked that up instead of this because there's still some of this left. Um, it's really good. I got it. Oh, you got this one right here, Native? So yeah, that's what I've been hearing. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm super excited to try that. Oops, I'm dropping everything all over the floor. Okay, we're going to get to the good stuff, you guys. I'm just trying to organize it. Also, I got this Relax um, T dot Tile. Reusable, you, need o um, you only need water, really. That's what it's saying. And it's a makeup remover cloth and wipes away makeup with just water. Um, yeah, so this is it. Sorry for the glare. So it's just a little cloth here. Let me open it up for you guys. Ooh, it feels really silky, like really nice. So this is what it looks like. Very cute. And there was different colors too. So this feels really soft. Even if you want to just dry your face, this is really nice to just dry your face. It's very delicate. So it's not so harsh for your skin. So this is actually really, really cute. Very fancy. Like you could even use it for like maybe like a little table topper or whatever you want to call it. Not top, table topper, but for your makeup area. But yeah, this is really cute for only a dollar. But it looks really expensive. Like really silky and pretty. So that's that. I'm gonna put that here. Okay, so I'm I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I know. You like hurry, baby, hurry. I wanna see it. Okay, so should I do the makeup or should I do the nail stuff? Which one do you guys wanna see first? Makeup. <laughs> okay, I'll do the makeup first. Let me just organize everything really quick. And 
Did I get two of those? All right. Okay. We're going to do the makeup first. All right. I think I got everything. Yes. Okay. I got everything now. All right. So thanks, Jenny. It was bad. Oh, no. Hi, Native. Glad you are better. Oh, yeah, Native. You were, that's right. I remember. Okay. So um, we're going to do the makeup. So I got only one of each of this item that I'm going to show you guys. But then I felt guilty because I'm like, whatever. If I really do like it, then I could, at least I have two um, of each. Um, if I don't like it, I could easily take it back to the store and get a refund for something else in the store. So I decided to get two of each just to be safe. So here it is, you guys. These are all from Smoke and Mirrors. So it's Smoke and Mirrors Setting Spray Rose Hair Lightweight Formula, and it's a 2.3 fluid ounce. So here it is, you guys. Super cute. It's a setting spray. You know, the cheapest setting spray you can find is probably $4. And that's from e.l.f., I believe it is. I believe I could, I might be wrong. I might be right. I'm not sure. So it's setting spray. Everybody's telling me at work to try it out. If they, if I like it, they're going to buy it. If I don't like it, then they know not to buy it. So they're waiting for me to answer that. So, um, oh, I like the smoking mirrors. Me too. Well, wow, let me know if it's good. Yes. So I'm going to let you guys know I don't have makeup on right now. Um, the only thing I do have is a little bit eyeliner and some mascara. Um, so I'm going to spray it on my face. So this is what it looks like. Super cute. It's a lot. Like for an example, here's the Mary Kay one and here's, and this was way more than this. So look. So this is a quite a bit of of spray and they sell almost the exact same thing but a different name brand at the Burlington. So let's try it. I'm gonna just spray it just to see if it has a smell. Um, it does have like a harsh spray. Okay, after you spray twice, so you can see there's a lot and it does smell pretty good. It doesn't smell that bad. So I know I don't have makeup on, it probably won't count, but um, it doesn't feel sticky or nothing. It feels actually, look, it soaked into my skin very good. So I don't know if you can see that. So it might set in very well to me. It smells not bad. It smells really good. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to put makeup on tonight or later on today and then see how it goes from there. Okay, so there is that one. And then here's another one. And this one is the Misty natural so this one is in pink which is rose water and this one's in white so you can see the difference so there's two different kinds um let me see right that's so nice so it does feel good i could feel it soaking into my skin it, look it went away so now it's setting in it feels really good again it might make a difference when you have makeup on so we'll see from there sorry i'm trying to open the packaging So here's a see-through one. I think the pink one is cuter. Like the rose water is really pretty. But you could just have a pink one. I mean, a light one, a see-through one. So you got to be careful. The first couple sprays, it will be a little harsh, like a burst of spray. But I believe after, there you go. See, so after the third, two or three sprays, it's going to have an actual mist. So it won't have like that harsh spray in the beginning. So it does feel good. That one does not have does not have no smell to this. One. So if you want something that does not have no scent, then go ahead and grab this one. If you want something that has a little scent to it, then go ahead and grab the rose water. The rose water does have a little scent to it. If you're, if you're thinking about the scent part, then there it is. Um, for the setting spray for it to for your skin, it feels good. doesn't feel sticky. doesn't feel like there's something there. So, so far, I think it's okay. 
Again, I'm going to try it with the makeup. So I will work that. I'll try that out for you guys. And um, here is the Face Values Foundation Cosmetic Brush. So we got only this in. I'm not sure if there was more or not. By the time I realized there was some brushes, um, this is the only thing that I saw. So it's like one of the ones from like, this kind of reminds me of um, MAC makeup. So the MAC makeup, like the one that I have is, um, where is that one at? Maybe similar to this one, but that's the Elf. Where's, oh, here it is. No, I guess not. Maybe MAC might be, because the MAC has more of a bristle. I know it's dirty. But this one just, it's like a smooth to smooth out. It could be um, concealer. It could be for a foundation, whatever you want. So I only got one because I only need one. I have so much brush, it's not even funny. So I just picked this one up. So that's what I got. Um. Okay, so now let's get to the lip gloss. So we're going to go to the lip product. Mm. Okay, so the lip product, let me open it up for you guys. So this one is in Golden High Shine, and this is non-sticky feel, long-lasting from Smoke and Mirrors, and it's this one right here. Super cute. I think this is going to look super cute. So let's try it on. I'll try it on for you guys. So, sorry, the packaging is like really sealed. So this one is the Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss. Super cute packaging. Of course, we're like uh, loving the packaging. So has the, so I'm going to show you guys. Oh, yes, I got the Kabuki brush. Oh, yeah, they have the Kabuki brush too. Have you ever found anything from Smoke and Mirror that you didn't like, ladies? Um, Yes. For me, there was um, the eyebrow, the eyebrow brush, like the, let me see if I, no, I think I already put it in my, this one right here, I did not like. So these are the, um, let me see, Smoke and Mirror Brow Gel. I did not like those. So it was just too shiny and it looked like greasy on my, and it didn't just, it didn't look good. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how to use it. Also, I did not like the mascara. Um, let me see. The mascara was just so clumpy, clumpy. Um, let me see. Is that the one? Mm, I think I might have it. These ones right here. This one leaves so much um, residue on your eyes, and it goes on my eyes, and I get really irritated by it. the. I'm assuming that it might be like um, not false lashes, but what is it called? Like has like those stuff inside where it makes your lashes look thicker. So I have yet find any smoking mirrors product. I'm so sad. Oh, Jenny, I'm so sorry. Um, let me see. Try and see if there was another smoking mirror. I believe the other, there's two different mascaras of the smoking mirrors that I did not like personally. And also the eyeliner of the, let me see. This one right here, the smoking mirror um, HD angled eyeliner, I do not like, which is the crayon one or the, I don't know, the stamp one, I guess you could say. Um, that one I do not like either, but I do love the liquid one, the pointy, what is this called? Um, HD felt tip eyeliner. This one's the like HD tip and this one is the angled cat eye. So this one is the one I do like and this one I don't like. There, um, there's hope we just barely started getting it. Oh man, you guys are barely getting it. Okay, well, they've been at my, at my store for a while, so I love the felt t felt eyeliner. Oh, you like the felt one, which is the one I like? Yes, so that one I like, and that's one you like. So there is that. Um. Okay, so what was I at? Oh, yeah. 
Yes, good. See, so the felt lip um, eyeliner is awesome. Even for a person that never used eyeliner or trying to work out the eyeliner, that is very smooth and very consistent and very nice. It helps you a lot. So. It's not that vibrant. It doesn't have too much of a pigmentation, which is fine. Maybe you don't want to go overdo. But I, will, I feel like this will be a cute little overgloss for another lipstick. Lippy is pretty on you. Thank you. So I feel like this will look really nice if you want to wear something um, under it. And then you can put this on top just to give it a little boost of, like, I don't know, you know, a little boost, I guess. But, um, yes. It's not that vibrant, but it's still pretty. Like, in person, it looks really nice. In the camera, I think it's reflecting. So there's this one right here, the gold one. Um, golden and then here is angel kiss sorry I think I should have took everything out for you guys so here is angel kiss that one's really pretty it's like a purpley pink very pretty I really like this one I like how it has like glitter in it so if you don't like glitter these are very high glittered or shimmery glosses so if you don't like shimmer then i wouldn't recommend these but if you do like sh glitter or shimmery then i recommend these i tried your lip contour trick today i need to keep practicing oh you did that's cool yes that's cool shopping yes practice makes perfect we all been there done that we are even i'm still practicing Yes, Jenny, they're so pretty. Uh, have you tried both mascaras, lengthening and thick? Um, yes, I tried both mascaras, um, Brenda, and I did like one of them. I can't remember which one it was. I did like one of them, but I noticed that my eyes kept itching. I kept rubbing my eyes and all the little particles or particles or whatever you want to call them, they kept falling in my eye. So I was kind of getting like a red eye a lot. And they were hurting so bad. I wanted to go home and wash my face so bad. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it's just the product is old maybe or so dried out. I don't have any clue. But they were not working for me for both. That's why I've been using my other uh, mascara. I've been using this one so far. And I've been loving it. So this one is from uh, Ramel London. And it's Lift Me Up. So that one I've been using and I've been loving it. Fibers, there it is. Fibers, as they irritate me too. Yes, that's the name of the of the what I was talking about. Fiber. Thank you, Shopkins. So the fibers are the ones that has been hurting me, and it's kind of irritating my eyes. So I did stop using those mascaras because it was not working for me at all. It was nice in the beginning, but after a while, they were just hurting. So um, let's go for this one. I like how it's just like a, a kind of like a gloss. So let's try this one. And this one is again is the Angel Kiss. So it's not that pigmentation, but it is called glossy, so it's just a gloss. That one looks really pretty. Yeah, that one looks really pretty. I like that one. So that one's really cute. It's not that pigmented, but it's it's cute. It's something very light to put on really quick. So that one's cute. Um, now we're going to hit the... Um, Another gloss, but these ones are a little bit more different. These are the holographic um, lip gloss. So now we're going to get into the holographic. I found the one and the one called embellishment. Oh, you did? Um, embellishment, and that one is like the lip gloss. So here's the flirt, the flirty um, smoky mirrors holographic lip gloss in 3D. Wow, lips coloring, um, shifting, per precise, long lasting. So... That's this one, sorry. So I'm gonna wipe my 
I was kind of debating to get these because I do have lip gloss that is a holographic that I got from um, Burlington. But I was like, oh, it's only a dollar and I pay way more than a dollar at Burlington. And Burlington's supposed to be like a little cheaper than other places. So I did pay a little bit more there. But if I do like these ones, I'll definitely pick up these ones instead of the ones at Burlington, which I already have though. Sorry, packaging is not open to me. So here's the package. Sorry, there's like blue everywhere. Okay, Brenda, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, so, oops. So there it is. So this is like the holographic. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's really pretty too, huh, Brenda? Brenda, <laughs> I'm sorry, Nate. I was thinking about Brenda right now. So let's try this out. Okay. And they're not sticky either. This one does have a little smell. Hi, Mama Nicole. How you doing? I just watched one of your videos. Um, it was the one about you're talking about the hurricane and stuff. The the ninety nine cent store, the on the DT hall. Awesome. So this one is like a very see through, so you're not gonna see anything. Let me see. It's very glittery though. So, um. <laughs> Oh, it was yesterday's haul. I just saw it today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I've been watching some hauls late. So there's Archer. I think that's how you say Archer. Archer. So here's Archer. Sounds really pretty. I just wish that it was maybe if we find the lip lipstick that is that color and then put this over the lipstick, it might be look, it will look really nice like this. So that's what I'm thinking. Maybe finding a color that's similar to this and then putting the gloss over. It'll look really nice. And it's not sticky. It's very comfortable too. Sorry, it's hard to open. Giovanni went to urgent care. No flu or strip, just infection in the throat and ear. Oh my gosh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, it wasn't so so crazy i hope you guys are all doing well because i know you said you said that you guys are all like getting sick i hope you guys don't get sick like too bad i hope it goes away really fast okay so here's this one again so i'm gonna try this one on sorry the packaging is really hard to open maybe it's just me okay so here is this one they're all very see-through, so I guess it's almost the same. So there it is. Yeah, these ones are okay, you guys. These two ones, these two are really nice. I do like these two. So the gold one and the forgot what the color this was. Um, Angel Kiss. So Angel Kiss and the gold golden one is really nice. So those two are, are good. Um, I do already have a lot of glosses, so I feel like those were like they're okay, you know. So now we're gonna go into the concealers. Um, yeah, they're not sticky at all. They feel very nice, very comfortable. So there was some other products that I did not pick up from Smoking Mirrors, which like a it's kind of like a moisturizer chapstick looking, but it had a flower inside. Super cute, very see-through. You can see it's a it's a lipstick, but like see-through, and it has a flower inside. Um, to me, I'm gonna say it's a chapstick. Um, you just put it on; it's very clear. And there was another one that was um, like a certain color, and it turned your lips different colors. So it was green, and it would turn blue, I think it was, or blue, and it would turn green. And it was orange, you know, turn red. Like it was a different, it transformed the colors. So it, I don't know. But I didn't get it because I was like, that's not, I'm not going to get that. So there was a, quite a bit that I left that I didn't grab. 
that was there at the same night. So here is um, the Smoking Mirror Flawless and bl um, Brighter Complexion All Day Coverage. And this one is in the Light Concealer Crayon. So here's these ones. So... Ah, sorry, you guys. So, let's see. Oh, it actually feels really nice. So, there it is. It feels very smooth, creamy. It covered the dot that I have there that it's colored. So that was good. So I feel like hmm, it's good. You can see how white it is, but that's because I don't have makeup on. So once you put the makeup over, I feel like it will be fine. Um, so yeah, so these are the crayon, concealer crayons. Here's the medium one. So they have a medium one. Sorry for the glare. And that one's a little bit more darker, of course, than the light one. I'm trying to hurry because there's people leaving. So here's the dark one. I'm going to show you the difference of the dark one. Ooh, there's a difference. That looks more of a pinky. Like, it looks peach. Like a, I don't know, it just looks really dark. So that could be maybe, I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I'll try to figure out how to use it. But I would recommend this one for me and then this one for, I don't have any clue. That looks way too dark. So if you guys are more of a darker complexion, I would say that one. But I'm not, I'm dark, but I'm, I don't think I'm that dark. So, um, And then here are these eyeshadow crayons. Eyeshadow crayons. And this one is in Milkshake. Here's this one right here in Milk Shake. I think these ones gonna be. I'm gonna fall in love with these because I love eyeshadows and lipsticks. Oops. So this one is in the Milk Shake. These are not concealer. These are eyeshadows. Ooh, that one's very shimmery, very like shiny. So I don't know if you guys can see that. This one right here. Very pretty. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but it looks really nice, like, when you look at it. Very, like, high pigmented, very shiny, very shimmery. Um, really pretty. So you could even put, like, a like a regular eyeshadow on, and then you could put this on top, and it'll look so pretty. So I do recommend that one. Here is um, this one, and this one is in Bella Bronze. Bella Bronze. So here's this one. Sorry. Bella Bronze. So let's try it on the bottom. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Bella, it's like a gold, like kind of like bronzy, like a copper. That one's pretty. Okay, so here is, um, I like that one too. You like that one too? That one's really pretty, huh? So I do recommend the eyeshadows and the, the crayon. The concealers, I'm not too sure about, but it depends on you. Hopefully the setting spray is a hit. Because if so, I'm buying all of them because I'm sorry, but it, setting sprays are very expensive. So here is Lilac Touch. Lilac Touch. Oh, here it is. Sorry, did I show you guys? So it's like that purple one, like a deep purple. Very pretty, which I like. Kind of, kind of similar to the ones that we're talking about, the 
Um, I the liquid one. Remember the liquid one, you guys, that I showed you. I'm trying to see where did I put it. Ah. So here's Lilac Touch. If Des was watching, she's gonna want all of these because she loves makeup too. So there's that one. Very pretty, very pigmented, very smooth. Looks really nice. Yes, the setting spray are very expensive. Yes, I know. So when I saw that, I was like, no. And I'm like, it better work. I hope it works because if it does, I'm at the store buying all of them. I'm sorry, but I want to have to. Um, so there's that one. Um, I think that's it. Yep. Yeah. Oh no, one more, one more. So there's one more. And this one is in champ um champagne. Champagne. I love the color champagne and everything and eyeshadows and nail polish and lipstick. And this one is an eyeshadow and it's a creamy formula and easy to blend all day shimmer. So that's what they are. Gonna but only want um one rose water. <laughs> okay, I'll save you one, Shopkins. Oh, talking about that. I saw your honey um yesterday. I saw him and I didn't recognize him. I was like, he was saying he said I wasn't like paying attention because he was behind me and I didn't know. And I was um uh, buying all this stuff, right? And I was on my lunch break. Yeah, I was on my lunch break. I was trying to hurry. And he was like, he said something. I can't remember what he said. And I was like, I turn around, I'm like, um, do I know you? Like, I had that look, and I felt so bad, Shopkins, I felt so bad. And afterwards, he's like, and then I turn around, and he said, he said, Mar Martha said hi. And at first, I thought he said Marcos, which is my son. I thought he said Marcos. And I was like, he knows my son. And I turn around, and he said Martha. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I felt so bad, Shopkins. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I tell you, honey, that I did, I wasn't trying to be rude or anything. It's just that I got confused. Like, I was confused. Like, how do you know me? Like, I don't know you. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's get to the point. <laughs> yeah, he told me he was going for tuna and um, bean sprout. But we haven't been carrying bean sprouts in a while. So I did tell him as soon as we do carry the bean sprouts, I'll let you know as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay, so here's Champagne. It does have the name on it. And I really like that the products have the names on them because sometimes we get confused and when they don't have the name, we're like, no. So the print is really nice. And then the name on it, it's really nice. So here is the Champagne one. I know I'm going to like that. That would be nice for like a highlight. I don't know if you guys could see that. Oh, I hope you guys can see that. It's really nice for like the inner corner of your eye or even top of here. Or you could even do it as a highlight. You could do it over your no your on your nose or over your lip. You could put it anywhere you want it to look highlighted. Oh, you guys can't see it. Oh, oh my gosh, the light. Help me light. Oh, there we go. So do you guys see that? Woo! It's blinding. There you go. So I hope that helped a little bit. <laughs> So there is that, you guys. That was all the makeup that I found. Again, there's a lot more, but I chose not to pick those items up because I know I'm not going to use them. Like, I know there's not really a point to show you guys if I'm not going to use them, you know? I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend the money. You guys know that I'm trying to save money. So there's that. Um, so here we go with the nail products. So the nail products I got from Sally Hansen, new, I love nail art. So Shopkins, if you're watching this, you probably might like these. Maybe you already have these in your collection. But the ones I do like nail products, here you go. So here are these nail art free kits. And these are the contains three vital freaks, which is like um, confetti looking. And one nail art pickup tool. So here it is. Oh, you guys can barely see. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a confetti looking. So there's blue, pink, and silver. Super, super cute. And then here are the um, toolkit kit. So these are the tools that you need to use. I don't know if you can see this. So it has the tools here. And then here's this one, which is like the balls, like little balls. And these are the beads, which is pink. Are they at the register still? Yes, they're still at the register. So go ahead and grab as many as you can. So here's the pink one, the different color one, and the like a teal color. Really pretty. And then here are um, the studs. 
And these are the um, like gold, silver with see-through or diamonds, and then the black. So these are super cute for those who likes to do their nails. And you could do it like this, or you could do it with different colors. There's a website you could go to, and they will show you how to do them, like, different styles. So you could do so many different styles with these, and I have other ones, too. So here are kit, and this one has, like, um, blue, purple, and pink. Blue, purple, and pink. Super cute. My daughter's going to be so happy that I got these because we share, I share my, my nail kit with her. So, uh, that is everything, you guys. Um, I hope you guys like this haul. I'm sorry that I did it. Whoa, it's almost like an hour already. So, that is everything, you guys, that I did. This was like in, I'm pretty sure it was like four different hauls. Three to four. Um, so yeah, these are all in one. I did not spend all this money at once. I did spread it out throughout the month. So I was able to collect and I wanted to make a big one instead of little small ones each time that I hauled. So I hope that was okay. These items are still at the 99 cent store. So go ahead and go to the 99 store, cent store and grab these. Except, except these, there's a few left. And also the cream that I was talking about, it's already gone. Um, I wasn't even able to get one. I wanted one, but I did put it back because I was like, ah, uh, and I wish I did keep it. So thank you guys so much. Hall, I'm going to have to go to Yuma. Yes, come to Yuma and come and visit us. Yay! And I'll take you to the 99 cent store and you could go with me and I'll give you a discount. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'll talk to you.